Let's do this on the ice tonight. James Cebulski, Ray Ferraro, ready for puck action. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Ducks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Gains the zone from the right side. Puts it on net, and a great save! Colorado's going to play it from the corner. Here he is in close! Oh, what a stop by Gibson! The Avalanche have taken to the offensive attack. Takes the puck at the point. And now it's grabbed by Raquel. The Avalanche have taken control of the puck. Trying to escape the pressure. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. What a great example of unending pressure. Stop Clear that it. one. Stop. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Lindholm. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Odd man rush. Oh, and it just tap dances wide. You work so hard to get a good opportunity and then you miss the net. Even if it's so close, it's still frustrating to you because you know that chance doesn't come around very often. Colorado's across the blue line. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Handles the puck. And that pass is redirected. Puck picked up by O'Connor. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Puck grabbed by Fowler. And now he tries to get it across to Brew. Poked away in the neutral zone. And makes the routine save. Keeps possession. Picked up along the wall by O'Connor. Right on the doorstep. O'Connor's got it along the wing. Puts it on that. Scores! There's number 20 of the year. Yeah, solid production. You get past the milestone of 20, and you know you've had a good year. How many times you hit that number? You know, I don't know. Yeah, 11, 12, 13, something but like that. But who's counting, right? No, yeah, I don't know. Nicely it's a good, done. good number. Colorado's got the game's first goal here in the opening frame. Pretty tightly played game so far. Not a lot of chances, not a lot of errors on either team, but now we got one. Maybe the game will open up. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Can't connect! Grabbed along the board by Groove. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Up along the wing. Cooley's moving the puck through his own zone. Read that perfectly with hey, the poke check. Looking to make something happen along the boards. That pass doesn't go. From behind the net. Quick pass to Comtois. Denies him. He got all of it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Comtois. Takes a shot and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Oh, and another save. They're swarming here. Denies him. His reflexes on display tonight. They go on the attack from the left side. And that's blocked. And that's denied by Gibson. And the puck's knocked loose. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. Picked up along the boards by Barron. Colorado's got the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Fires went on goal. And that one's turned away. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Barron.
That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Anaheim's won it. Plays the puck up ahead. Great reach with the stick by Raquel. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Just slide to the net. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. There's a hit on the play. And that's broken up with a stick in front. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Let's it go! Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe! Sends the pass over. Smart defensive play there. Taken along the wall by Lindholm. Makes a shot and makes the save. Gibson's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Oh, look at this chance. Throws it on goal. Rand is going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Colorado's won the draw. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Can't get it to go. Oh, and a great save by Gibson. Let's it go. Here's the score. He didn't leave that rebound there. The shooter takes it and throws it up into the top of the net. The Avs have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Cooley. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And not much on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Foodie. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Across the line from center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Avs look to start the transition game. And that's knocked away by Groove. Battle along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. And not much on that one. And the intensity is starting to ramp up here after that hit. And serves up a little knock on the play. Big time stop there. They go on the attack through center. The Ducks take it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Yeah, the officials caught that hack. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Avalanche have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. It's the first penalty kill of the night for this team, and they won't let that knock their confidence. We know their penalty kill unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. So let's see if any of their improvements show up tonight. Misses! Doesn't even matter that that missed so close to the bar. It feels like a wasted opportunity when the goalie doesn't even... He scores! And look at the flare with the bottle ray! When it spins in the air and the water's flying around, it looks awesome. Oh. The Ducks seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. Takes the feed. The Avs have it from their own end. Hangs onto the puck. Colorado's on the attack. Poked away in the defensive end. Colorado's got it now. Gibson. 
takes a shot off a stick. The Avs take it from the side. Snaps it on net. Oh, what a save in front. Gibson surprised a lot of people over his career with some of the saves he makes. Now, this isn't the best one ever, but man, this is a beauty. It surprised me. I didn't think he was going to get it. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Gibson's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Late goings of this period. Anaheim still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Great defensive effort with the stick. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Pushes it across to Henrique. Moves the puck. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Here we go, put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Anaheim's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Score! See the goaltender's looking a little frustrated here. He got a little piece of this shot. Not enough. It goes into the net. Colorado's now widened the lead to two in this third period. What's pretty interesting was one of the guys told me as they came out for the start of the third period, the coaches didn't come in. They left it to the players, wanted them to run that intermission by themselves. Takes the feed from his own end. Landis got it in the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Puck not loose in the neutral zone. The Ducks have it against the wall. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Change the Avs played along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Through center along the wing. And that's knocked away by Lindholm. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Smothered that in close chance. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Nothing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. That opportunity is rejected. Sharp reaction save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Avs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. That's gloved by Ranta. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And now he passes up to O'Connor. To his teammate! Can't find his man. Feeds it down low. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Taken by O'Connor. Club save. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the 
the draw inside the offensive zone. The Avs have it behind the cage. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Even though he's going to argue on the way to the box, I mean, it's not a rodeo. You can't tie the player up like that. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. And now it's grabbed by Brew. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Great save by Gibson. Pretty solid stop, and it pops into the corner to safety. Picked up along the wall by Drew. Into the corner. Maintains possession. Ranton is battling away pretty hard to try and screen the goalie. Gibson's going to hang on for a whistle. The Golden Knights are on the save the date calendar next for these guys. Yeah, fans of both teams will really look forward to that matchup. It's generally a pretty aggressive game. Never an off night in this league. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Passes ahead from the right side. Keeps hold of the puck. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Too much congestion in front. Nice pass. And he easily stops that one. Gibson's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Terry's won it in their own end. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. Drysdale's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandled. The Avs will play it from the corner. With the backhand! Misses wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Drives to the crease. Comes up with a monster save in front. Landis Scott's a menace around the blue paint. His crease crasher zone ability is that knack for picking up rebounds and depositing them into the bin, guys. Colorado's won the faceoff. And here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. They fight for it along the boards. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck Ten along the wall. Fowler's up and ready to join the play. Here's the chance to set up now. Poked away by Gerard. Man advantages up both teams Five back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. They're not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. Right in front! Grabbed along the boards by Lindholm. The backhander off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, you don't get it on the net. That's right. Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. The uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Colorado's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. Anaheim's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Handles the puck from the left side. Quick feed to Raquel. Some solid defensive work in the row, man, with the post check. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And score! This thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender.
Colorado's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Booties, one possession. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a chance up front, and that's broken up. Takes the feed. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Right in the slot, and they can't finish that one. No, oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last half for the scoring opportunity. Picked up along the boards by Raquel. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Right. Puck picked up by Ristolainen. The Ducks have it in the offensive zone. There's another stop. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Sends it across. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Ducks have it in the offensive end. Denies him. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Ducks have it now. Over the line they come. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Hammers a shot and the puck dies with the trapper save. Rantanen's shot doesn't miss the mark very often. Very accurate, quick release. He's among the league leaders in goals this year. Anaheim's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Steele. And it's in! He scores! Gets his own rebound and makes it count! And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Ray, you look at the numbers, and in this case, the numbers don't lie. The better team won this one. Uh, this is one easily you can marry your eye test to the numbers test and say, yeah, they both work. That team deserved to so win. So the analytics crew and the, and, the, and the hockey crew could actually see eye to eye on this they one. They could actually get along. It is amazing how times have changed to see these post-game salutes now after a victory. Yeah, I used to go pat the Hawoli on the head and then get out of there. Now you stay, salute the fans, and they stay to cheer you. And that'll do it. For Ray Perl, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.